Hello everyone. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to call a HTTP trigger function app from Postman. Uh, I've created a function app project here. It's a simple template one in Visual Studio. Uh, it's a HTTP trigger function. And the important thing here is uh, it has an authorization level of function. Uh, what that means is uh, if you want to call this function, uh, you need to provide an API key. So if you want to uh, remove that security stuff around your function method, you just need to use the anonymous uh, authorization level. But I don't think it's a good idea to set the anonymous authorization level for a function app. So we've set the function level authorization for this method. And uh, in the body of the function, it's just a simple uh, piece of code to read the uh, HTTP request body and deserialize it. If there is a name attribute there, we're just returning that name in the uh, body of the response. Uh, so uh, regardless of what authorization level you have for your function, you can run it locally without any drama. If I Press Ctrl F5 and copy the function URL, go to the postman, create a new request and go to body, select row, select JSON and create the JSON body. Just put something here. If I click send, you see that we've got that response from the function app. And we've got a log here that that function is called. So it works locally. You don't need to be worried about the uh, local environment and you want to test your function app but once it's deployed to the Azure it's different the security is on top of that and if you want to call that method you need to provide the API key just want to show you quickly how you can do that uh, I've deployed this uh, function app to Azure before uh, if you want to deploy you can use uh, this publish uh, by right clicking on your solution or you can use the ARM template to deploy that as well but it's not uh, as a part of this video so I've done that before go to the portal my demo function app is deployed here uh, what we need to have is uh, the function app URL so if you go to the functions You see the list of method for your function apps here and uh, by clicking on the uh, function app method it goes to this screen by clicking on get function URL you can get your function app URL copy the clipboard go back here create a new tab in postman in a post request, just paste this here. What I'm gonna do is just removing this code part and then in the query palms section, I'll add a new key. But before doing that, let's just call the function to see if we get the unauthorized response so just send the request and you see that we are getting the unauthorized response from the api so what we need to do is in part sorry in headers we create a new key text functions key and put that code here 
and now we can try again I click send there you go we got the 200 response if I add something in the body in the JSON format and send it again we get the correct message from the API side so if you've got a authorization level for your function and you want to call your function which is hosted on the Azure App Service plan you just need to get the function key from the Azure portal uh, if we go back here and click on app keys you've got a master key here uh, master key has a uh, admin access so uh, probably you need to be careful with using that but uh, you can use the default key default key has access to all your function methods so you've got 10 5 whatever methods in your function app and you want to access them with the same key that's the key that you you are after you can use this key uh, if you want to use a specific key for each function uh, you can go to the functions and then by clicking the function in the get function URL the code here has access only to this method uh, so it's up to you and based on your use case you can pick up the right key and call your function app uh, thanks for watching this video if you found it useful please like and subscribe thanks for watching bye